All right, in this video, let's look at the natural logarithmic function. Looking back at the graph of the natural exponential function, note that it is 1 to 1 and hence has an inverse function. Now, let's look at what the graph of the natural logarithm function will be. Please notice the notation. There's a special symbol because it is so important. It is red ln of x, or natural logarithm of x. The natural logarithm function then, y equals natural log of x if and only if x is equal to e to the y. We generally do not write the base because ln immediately says that we have base e. All right, let's look at a, uh, a few examples here. The connection between y equals ln of x and x, uh, x equals e to the y will be used frequently in our future work. In other words, we will be solving problems going back and forth between these. So if we say y equals the natural log of 12, then we're basically saying that 12 is equal to e to the y. Now, notice you do have a natural logarithm key on your uh, the keyboard of your calculator. Now, let's turn around and do e raised to the 2.48491 power, and notice the relationship between the natural log of 12. Now, you saw these properties with the log base a. The same ones apply to natural log. Natural log of 1 is 0. Natural log of e is 1. The natural log of e to the x equals x, and e to the natural log of x is equal to x.